Hello friends, in this video we will show you how to remove or replace the fuel injectors on this Volkswagen Scirocco equipped with a 2.0 liters CFFB code diesel engine. You can also find this engine in the models from this long list. This is how the engine bay looks like. Enough with the intro guys, let's get to work. First remove the electrical connectors. Pull up these middle tabs to take out the return line from the injectors. Clean the fuel spills with some paper towels. Place the return line and the wire harness aside. If you plan to reinstall the same injectors after doing some testing or cleaning, it would be a good idea to number them before removal. Now you need a 17mm spanner to remove the two nuts holding the supply line. There is one on the injector side and one on the fuel rail side. Take out these two bolts using an M8 or triple square. You can also use a Torx bit spline but you may damage the bolt head. If you don't have a fuel injector extractor you will have to be patient and wiggle the injectors until they come out. We eventually used a panel clip prying tool because the injectors were a bit stuck but if you are a beginner you may damage the plastic valve cover. We were also replacing the valve cover on this car so it didn't really matter if we damaged the cover or not. This is another simple, faster and safer technique you may also use if you don't have a special extractor. All you need is a 70mm socket and an extender. If you have to reinstall the fuel injectors, you have to clean any dirt or rust and then replace the rubber o-ring and the copper washer.
Sometimes the copper washer won't sit on the end of the injector and you may lose it, so applying just a bit of grease to the contact surface of the washer will make it stick until you install the injector. Same process for all the fuel injectors. It is also recommended to apply some special fuel injector or glow plug grease. Another important thing that you have to do before reinstallation is to clean the inside of the injector wells using a clean cloth. Make sure the copper washers are properly seated before inserting the fuel injectors. All the other steps are the same as in the beginning. Service manuals also recommend replacing the small o-rings on the return line. And that was it guys, if the video was helpful don't forget to give it a like, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel, it is completely free. Until next time we wish you all the best, bye bye.